Hey y'all, welcome to another cooking video. So today I am going to attempt to try my hand at uh, making chicken and rice. I'm going to make it a little bit different than I normally make it. So I have everything laid out here. I have, um, I'm have. i gonna cut up this onion. I have a red bell pepper, a green bell pepper, um, I have some parsley, which is going to go in at the end. Some smoked paprika. I have some salt, pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder. I have my two cups of rice back there. And I also have this Sazon um, seasoning mix. This Goya Sazon seasoning mix with coriander and uh, ananto, whatever it is. Uh, so this is what's going to make my rice yellow or give it a little bit of color it says this unique seasoning will add color to your food i saw two different ones so hopefully i picked the right one and then i have my chicken here um, i'm going to be using i took out some uh chicken tenderloins and also some chicken breast so i'm not sure if i'm going to use the tenderloin or not but i know i'm going to be using the chicken breast so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So I have all of this that I'm going to cut, which is the bell peppers. I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. Gonna cut the top off of there, stand it, and then just go ahead and cut the sides off and then just throw away the seeds and I'm just going to go ahead and cut these in strips so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these off camera not to bore you guys and I will be back
y'all so I'm just going to go ahead and season the meat right now and I'm going to season it with first off with pepper salt I'm going to be using pepper salt onion powder garlic powder and some paprika so we'll put garlic powder and then I am going to turn it over and do the exact same thing Oh, that's a lot of paprika. I don't need that much. You just want to make sure that your um, meat gets seasoned very well. Let me get a fork. And we're just going to turn it over. Sorry if you guys hear my washer and dryer going. I apologize. But that's life around here. Real life. Okay. Let's go ahead. The onion powder. And we're just going to do all the seasonings again. Make sure everything is seasoned well. That's where the flavor comes in at. I'm going to make sure all of those flavors marinate. And everything's smelling so good. So let me get the frying pan ready. All right, so I'm probably just gonna put about three tablespoons. Just go around here three times. I'm gonna make it four. <laughs> and we're gonna put that in and just let that get hot. Let's turn that back up. I'm going to let that get hot and let me put these seasonings back together. Okay. I don't know if I showed y'all, but I did also cut up a little bit of garlic. All right. Let's see if this is hot enough. It is. So I'm just going to stick this in there and I want it to sear. So I'm probably going to end up cooking these in batches. Because I already know it's not going to be enough room where all of these might fit. So I'm going to let these cook and brown. I'm looking for like a dark brown. I'm not trying to cook these all the way through. I'm just going to cook them enough until it gets brown. The consistency that I like. And then I'm going to flip them over. So that's probably going to take anywhere from about mm, three to five minutes. Alright y'all, so we're going to check the brownness 
And as you can see, that is brown, kind of the consistency that I want. And you'll be able to tell when it's time to turn the chicken because you won't get any hesitation. See that color right there? That's exactly what I'm looking for. And of course, it's not going to take long for these little uh, tenderloins to, to cook anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and let those cook. And be back, y'all. Alright, so this is what the meat is looking at, looking like <laughs> coming out of the pan. That's kind of the color that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and let those two finish cooking and go ahead and put the chicken breast in. Alright, so, so we're going to go ahead and flip it. That's the color I'm looking for. Yep, yep, yep. That's it. And I'm just going to press it down a little bit. So I'm going to let this brown on the other side probably for about five minutes. And um, I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the rest. That is the color that I'm looking for right there. Go ahead and take the rest of these two chicken breasts out. And all that good stuff down there, y'all. Y'all want to get that up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a tad more butter. I'm uh, sorry. Oil. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Okay. So, I'm going to let that melt. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and add those onions that I chopped up earlier and the bell pepper, which was red bell pepper and green bell pepper. And then I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to let that cook down a little bit probably about three to five minutes and even as i'm letting this cook down y'all those scrapings which is that good good seasoning good stuff is starting to come up so yeah i'm gonna let this cook for about like i said three to five minutes until it's soft That I'm just gonna put in here. And I'm gonna use a mixture of about four cups, I believe, of chicken broth with two cups of water. So This is the chicken broth that I'm using. It's 32 ounces. Uh -oh. So that came to just right at four cups. So, I'm going to let this rice just saute for a bit. Y'all, it is smelling so good in here. I wish y'all was here. Okay. So, I'm not sure if I need to put this Saison in now. Uh-oh. It doesn't want to focus, y'all. There it is. 
if I need to put this saison in now or what? I'm gonna let that cook just a little bit more. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in now. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells good, but that is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, that's, I may have to use two, y'all. Yeah, I may have to just use two. I thought one would be enough. Looks like I'm gonna have to use two. No, that one is enough. I'm getting rice everywhere, y'all. So, let me go ahead and put that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice. I'm sorry, the rice. Go ahead and add the uh, chicken broth. Let me get two cups of um, water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this two cups of water. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead. Y'all know what? I forgot to add the garlic. So guess what? <laughs> We're just gonna add the garlic right on in right now. Hey, okay. it's gonna all mix in together anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Oh my gosh, it's smelling so good, y'all. Mmm. And then it even had this here juice right here that I'm just gonna add right on back in there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And I'm gonna let that come to a boil. And when I come back, I will show you the final product. There. All right, y'all, so this is what my chicken and rice looks like. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I put a little paprika, I'm sorry, not paprika, parsley flakes uh, on top for presentation. And I'm about to dig in, y'all. 